start thinking about what is the order that makes sense for you? What's going to allow you to not have to step back and say, oh, now i got to undo that because I've been there so many times and it's frustrating. It's spe you spend time and it's like spinning your wheels. It's like, might as well just throw this workout and start over. Um, and we don't want that. We want you to be successful at creating videos and going through a process that makes sense for you. Now, like I said, I, you know, I was looking at some blog posts some videos, other people, and they change things around. Like when video picture lock happens or, you know, when they do the title and graphics, when they do the audio, there's not, this is a, a I like using an approach. It is one of multiple approaches. And ultimately, as you're working through this and you're leveling up, because that's what we want to do, right? You're leveling up how you edit, you're leveling up how you record, you're leveling up the visuals that you have, you're leveling up your screen recording, making those smoother, better, whatever it is you're trying to do to be that superhero that's providing great information, helping people to use your software, communicating at work, whatever it is, we want you to think about like, how can I get more efficient? And if you're on here and you're saying, Matt, I am never going to do uh, color. Cool. Drop it. Or you're saying, I like my titles and graphics in place because then once I have that, I know kind of my intro and I can go from there. Awesome. There is no right answer here. This is the art of the video edit. And you are the artist. You are the creative mastermind of whatever project that you're doing. And you're amazing. You have the capability to do whatever you need to do to get the job done. Now, practice it. 